in this video let us conclude armature reaction of synchronous machine okay and uh, let us prove that actually we did not learn anything or we need not remember the analysis of what do you say uh, armature reaction okay see before that let me introduce like you know at zpf uh, condition how synchronous machine behave okay means spark developer should not be there no for example b b dash c c dash basically at zpf condition only one machine will work that is synchronous motor okay as a synchronous condenser as a synchronous condenser synchronous condenser actually will deliver reactive power okay alternator also will deliver reactive power synchronous motor also can de can deliver reactive power can deliver react power but why we use synchronous motor only as synchronous condenser because if you think of alternator okay alternator should be rotated by prime mover okay so for example if i consider uh, alternator just to supply only reactive power only reactive power so alternator has to supply only reactive power means that alternator has to work by zpf lagging conditions okay means it has to deliver reactive power means that somebody should absorb reactive power who who will absorb that reactive power inductance so alternator has to work at zpf lagging conditions in order to deliver reactive power only and uh, synchronous motor synchronous motor we have to go to the load so when load will deliver reactive power capacitor okay capacitor in the sense zpf lead condition okay so for example if you think of uh, synchronous condenser okay if it is a motor only one set is sufficient but if you think of alternator to work as a synchronous condenser along with alternator i have to have one more motor to rotate the prime more so rather than going for two machines i will go with only one machine okay so synchronous motor as a synchronous condenser so let me write synchronous condenser okay see this is n pole this is s pole which is rotating in this direction okay which is rotating in this direction now this is a motor basically okay so the moment it's a motor as of now induced voltage here will be maximum dot maximum cross already we discussed about this so here this is going to be maximum voltages now as a motor it has to deliver reactive power it has to deliver reactive power means that with respect to my voltage current should be 90 degrees leading okay so this is going to be voltage and current is going to be should be 90 degrees leading okay so here it should be 90 degrees leading like this okay now see here as of now voltage is maximum here but prior to that 90 degrees prior current maximum already happened okay so if the pole is here pole is here voltage maxima is here now when current maxima come here already current maxima passed by 90 degrees before so when my pole is here maximum voltage when my pole is exactly at 90 degrees with respect to present one current maximum currents will be there here okay so when maximum currents will be there if pole is here when pole is here maximum currents will come here okay let me repeat again last time okay as of now voltage maximum but current maximum is passed by 90 degrees 90 degrees before maximum currents are there as of now maximum voltage in this conductor but currents like you know maximum currents are already passed so 90 degrees so when it is here when it is here maximum currents would have happened here okay now when it is here maximum currents will be happening here so this is going to be maximum current maximum current okay so here this is dot means that this should be cross means that this should be dot now what about my armature mmf cross here dot here cross here dot here armature mmf is in this direction so this is going to be f a r armature mmf where is my field mmf field mmf is here okay so field mmf directly demagnetization directly demagnetization so field mmf directly demagnetization in the sense resultant mmf will be here 
Resultant MMF is here. Flux is going in this direction. So this should be S pole resultant. N pole resultant. N pole resultant. Okay. So means S pole, N pole. Continuously they will rotate in this direction. Okay. So see here. If this is S pole. This is N pole. Both are rotating in this direction. What is the torque? Nothing. For example, if it is a head, if it is a head, both are rotating in this direction, torque will be in backward direction. If it is like this, torque will be in forward direction, forward direction. So if torque is there, actual power will be there. Okay. If the torque, if the torque, torque is in this direction, it is rotating in the same direction, it is rotating in the same direction, means that, means that it is delivering mechanical power. For example, if it is like this. Okay, and torque is backward, torque is backward, but it is rotating like this, means that it is going to be alternator. Okay, but if you think of here, if you think of here, like you know, this is going to be S pole, this is going to be N pole, exactly, exactly means that both, both are rotating in this direction. What is the torque developed zero? If torque developed is zero, torque multiplied by speed is going to be zero. So actual power is zero, actual power is zero, but what about reactor power? Reactor power is not a power, no, reactor power can be delivered by anybody, can be absorbed by anybody okay now in synchronous condenser in synchronous condenser like you know it need not deliver any amount of active power okay for example for example see here this is going to be alternator this is prime mover prime mover prime mover alternator now if prime mover is trying to rotate generator in this direction both will rotate in the same direction at no load at no load in between this shaft will be there in between this shaft will be there. Now, for example, once alternator is loaded with any active power, alternator will try to develop back torque. Okay. And prime mover will try to rotate in the same direction. So in between, feel it. My prime mover is rotating in this direction. My alternator back torque is in this direction. So mechanical stress will be very high. So mechanically, my shaft should be so strong. Okay. For example, let us consider motor. So this is motor now. This is brake drum for which like you know belt is connected and it is tightened. So motor is rotating in this direction. Okay. So brake drum is also rotating in this direction. Now in between shaft is there you are looking at the shaft now. Okay. So motor is trying to rotate in this direction but load is trying to stop me because in motor what is load if something is trying to stop my uh, rotor that is nothing but the load. So my uh, motor is trying to rotate in this direction but my load connected through the belt for example my load is trying to stop the rotor. Okay. So in between mechanical stress will be there or not yes. So mechanically shaft should be so strong if it is supposed to deliver or absorb active power. Okay, for example, if you think of reactive power only as a synchronous condenser, like you know, such a great shaft is not required because torque is not there. Okay, so means uh, my shaft actually shaft diameter is going to be very small in synchronous condenser, and that particular shaft need not come out because if it is a generator, generator has to be rotated, means the shaft should come out in order to be connected with prime mover in a motor, it has to come out in order to uh, link with the load. Okay, but if you see here, if you see here, shaft need not be brought out at all. So in synchronous condenser, if end rings will be there, beyond end ring, shaft will not come out because nothing need to be connected there. Its purpose is just to serve the reactive power. Okay, anyway, forget about that. Let me combine transformer, transformer and yeah, synchronous machine. For example, this is Previously in transformer, I have written pi f. Okay. Now let me write this as f f field MMF. Okay. Field MMF. With respect to field MMF, if I draw like this generator, if I draw like this motor. Okay. So secondary side, primary side, secondary side of transformer is nothing but a generator because it will deliver electrical power. Prior, uh, what do you say? Primary is going to be like motor because electrical power will be absorbed by primary. So let me think of generator. Okay. Now let us think of my armature current is lagging with respect to if IA is lagging. If IA is lagging, this is going to be F, A, R, armature MMF, armature MMF and field MMF is going to be resultant MMF. Okay. So, as yes, phasor order of rotation, phasors will be normally you know, considered rotating in anti-clockwise direction. My, with respect to resultant MMF, field MMF is 
leading okay so the angle between field mmf and resultant mmf is called as delta power angle power angle okay so when ia is lagging behind ef okay my armature mmf is going to be demagnetizing or not because net flux is reduced net mmf is reduced in the air gap so it's going to be demagnetizing demagnetizing okay now for example forget about whatever we discussed in armature reaction of synchronous or alternator or synchronous motor forget about it completely okay so if you think of my alternator is working at lagging because why alternator ff ef lagging sorry ff ef generator okay in generator lagging means that demagnetizing means that resultant mmf is going to be reduced or demagnetizing armature reaction effects for example let us think of an alternator okay alternator connected with load when i have to operate it lagging because load connected is inductive dominated in load connected is inductive dominated means that my inductance will absorb reactive power so my alternator has to deliver reactive power so alternator working at lagging conditions deliver reactive power have demagnetization armature reaction effects so should be over excited over excited now let us think of i don't want to write alternator motor now because you are comfortable and the heart of synchronous is phasor diagram okay so if you analyze the phasor diagram first visualize the phasor diagram first then automatically you will get questions are simple cake work to you for example again let me think of this as ff this is ef okay for example ia is leading with respect to ef ia is leading if ia is leading fer should be in line now fer plus ff is going to be fr resultant mmf fr okay now also field mmf this is going to be field mmf rotor this is resultant with respect to it it should lead or not because both are rotating in this direction if it can be lead both are rotating in this direction torque will be backward alternator okay so field mmf is going to be leading resultant mmf okay so this is going to be alternator now alternator working at leading how magnetizing armature reaction effect whatever we discussed previously same thing i'm repeating that's it okay so alternator cff alternator working at leading have magnetization armature reaction effects okay deliver or absorb for example i'm alternator i'm alternator okay so if i'm alternator when i will operate at leading because load connected should be capacitive in nature okay then i will operate at leading okay so load connected is at uh, what do you say capacitive means that capacitor deliver reactive power so i am absorbing reactive power so alternator working at leading power factor absorb reactive power how magnetizing armature reaction effects okay now let us think of motor motor okay ff will be same primary of transformer ef okay so with respect to this this is motor because ff ef motor that said okay so in motor if current is operating at leading this is going to be fr fr plus fr is going to be ff is going to be fr okay now if you see for example this is motor means that you have to go to the load end motor is operating at leading means that capacity dominated means that it will deliver reactive power it will deliver reactive power so is it demagnetizing or magnetizing ff is getting reduced to fr length is reduced so motor operating at leading have demagnetizing armature reaction effects will supply reactive power will supply reactive power for example motor motor operating at lagging is going to be fr fr plus ff is going to be fr fr okay now what is happening motor see ff ef motor operating at uh, lagging how magnetization armature reaction effects absorb or deliver absorb reactive power because motor go to the load end load end means load end something is there which is operating at lagging power factor means that inductive dominated so it is absorbing at reactive power okay so same phasor diagrams we have drawn 
in armature reaction in armature reaction like nothing is more nothing is more see very simple let me conclude once again this is demagnetizing this is demagnetizing okay so this is demagnetizing for a generator this is demagnetizing for a motor okay so when they are having demagnetizing well like you know for example generator operating at lagging absorber deliver generator operating at lagging means that load should be inductive means that load is absorbing so generator has to deliver so it is delivering forget about it come to here come to here synchronous motor synchronous motor motor operating at leading means that motor go to load side okay load side current is leading with respect to voltage means that capacity to dominate it capacitance effects type of thing so if it is having that means that it will deliver reactive power okay so motor operating at leading generator operating at lagging deliver reactive power both are having demagnetizing armature reaction effects so both should be over excited so simple over excited synchronous machine deliver reactive power now if you think of here and here okay so generator ff generator operating at leading when generator will operate at leading because load connected is capacitive in nature capacitive means when load connected is capacitive i have to operate it uh, capacity only leading only if it is operating at uh, leading means that my machine will deliver reactive power my what is alternator has to absorb so alternator operating at leading absorb reactive power and magnetization armature reaction effects so it should be under excited okay now because magnetizing armature reaction effects so coming to here motor because ff ef motor operating at lagging okay so motor operating at lagging motor motor not me alternator motor motor operating at lagging means that it is inductance uh, effects are there so that is absorbing so motor operating at lagging absorb reactive power over sorry uh, magnetizing armature reaction effects so motor magnetizing generator magnetizing in both they absorb reactive power or not yes so forget about all conclusion is very simple okay so how to like you know actually few guys may be confused okay no problem repeat the video repeat the video multiple times okay because it's not physical existence no so repeat the video multiple times and anyway like you know once we start uh, phasor diagrams once we start problem solving automatically simple simple things you will be able to understand okay conclusion is damn simple alternator or motor forget about it synchronous machine when over excited deliver reactive power when over excited demagnetizing armature reaction effects if it is having demagnetizing armature reaction effects i do over excitation i will increase the field current for example uh, what do you say synchronous machine will absorb reactive power in under excited okay